Cheech here talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live. And it's been a kind of crazy first three weeks of the NFL season. Upsets galore. And some teams that were expected to be amongst the best in the league are 1-2. and two, Or in the case of a team like the Cincinnati Bengals, 0-3. Oh uh, but one of those 1-2 and two teams is the Dallas Cowboys. Not only do they have very little running game. They also can't stop the run, and they had a somewhat famous uh, former defensive coordinator, former head coach interview for the defensive coordinator job. They did not give it to him. They gave it to Mike Zimmer instead, and that guy is Rex Ryan, and he had some comments about it. Let's get into it it's via Pro Football Talk. Uh, Mike Florio, Rex Ryan, Cowboys couldn't pony up the money to hire me as defensive coordinator. Uh, so he mentioned, first off, I'm not so sure Zimmer has this job right now. I'm not sure about that. I can honestly, I don't believe that's a fact right now. Uh, that was uh, in a talk with Adam Schefter before uh, Mike Zimmer was officially the defensive coordinator. But Ryan ha now has more to say about what went down. I could have fixed the Cowboys defense in a New York minute, Rex Ryan told ESPN Radio via USA Today. But that being said, they couldn't pony up the money or I would have been there. Uh, Ryan also took a gratuitous shot at Zimmer. You brought in a guy that was 29th in the league his last two years at Minnesota. The enthusiasm he brings when he left, that's the guy that's going to inspire you. This can go really bad for Dallas. Uh, for now, it might go really bad for Ryan, especially if Zimmer has his cell number. Uh, but pretty crazy that he took that big a shot at Mike Zimmer. And it has been a rough start for the Cowboys. Uh, one and two, as I mentioned, we see uh, so they're there. Uh, pro Football Reference page, 29.7 points per game through their first three games allowed. 30th of 32 teams uh, hasn't gone well. Uh, as I mentioned, especially their run defense has been porous. 557 yards through three games. So that is what? Uh, a little over 185 per game. Eight rushing touchdowns allowed in three games. So dead last in both of those categories, as well as the 5.4 yards per carry allowed. I mean, the pass defense has been okay, but yes, uh, really struggling against the run. They're playing my New York Giants tonight. Um, that's my team. Anyhow, we see it's been a good eight years since he's been a coach in the NFL. Uh, started as the Ravens defensive coordinator. He's at Rex Ryan's numbers. Um, and uh, was a head coach for the Jets. Uh, led him to two AFC championship appearances. And uh, was the head coach for Buffalo Bills for two seasons. We see um, the total defense numbers. Uh, his second year as defensive coordinator led the league in yards and points allowed. First year's head coach of the Jets led in yards and points allowed. Uh, so Rex Ryan definitely has had success as a defensive mind in the NFL. We don't know, uh, um, you know, how much the Cowboys offered him, how much Rex Ryan was looking for. But again, three weeks, not exactly a large chunk of the season yet, uh, but yeah, the run defense has been beyond porous. Will the Giants take advantage? Devin Singletary, um, clearly the number one for the Giants, but as back-to-back -back games with a fumble. Um, you know, we'll see if Tyrone Tracy gets a little bit of action. Daniel Jones, of course, can do damage with his feet as well. But do you believe the Cowboys should have ponied up the money, as Rex Ryan said, to make him the defensive coordinator. And are you surprised he was so candid about his thoughts on Mike Zimmer? Kind of reminds me of Sean Payton and his comments about Nathaniel Hackett when Aaron Rodgers just basically told him the mind is uh, business 
and don't talk about his coach. Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.